Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about how much money you can make with the brand new gun running businesses that take place inside your bunker in GTA Online as a part of the Criminal Enterprises DLC update. So this is going to be the final business that we are going over today that received some nice new additions in GTA Online that make it so much easier to make a lot of money. And the gun running business is arguably the best one we have in GTA Online. So now, honestly, things just got a whole lot better. Better. So let's start with the most new addition to the bunker, and that is your ammunition deliveries. So inside your bunker, you're going to notice that you have a dune loader parked inside, and you should also notice that you have an icon on the map that's like a set of blue bullets. So this is going to be when you know you can sell the excess weapons. So it's in this dune loader, you just have to go up to it and hit right on the D-pad. You'll get in and it'll take you outside of the bunker and it says ammunition contract deliver the weapon parts to ammunition and essentially what's going to happen here is it's going to take you to a random ammunition location on the map. Now, unfortunately, depending on where your bunker is located, you're not going to want the one that's inside of the city. Again, there's a handful inside the city. You're not going to want that. If you're lucky, you'll get the one in Sandy Shores. That one's pretty close. If not, the one in Palito Bay isn't terrible. But basically, that's what you do. Then you have to drive your dune loader to a random ammunition. The best part about this is there's no global signal that gets sent out to other players. You don't have to be a VIP, a CEO, or an MC if you don't want. And you can also do this in an invite-only session. And if you do it in an invite-only session, the only people that are going to be bothering you are the NPCs, which are incredibly easy to get rid of. Now, again, the only downside to this is you are in a dune loader, not necessarily the quickest vehicle of all time, but it's still not terrible. And basically, you just drive it to the ammunition store, and when you deliver it there, you'll go through a little bit of a cutscene. The ammunition people will thank you for the delivery, and then it will say contract complete, the weapon parts were delivered. Now, because I was doing this for the first time, my money payout was tripled, but you will usually see a one-time payment of $50,000. Now, the nice part about this is you can do this every single day. Every 48 minutes, a shipment of extra guns is going to be ready to sell. So basically one day in GTA Online. So honestly, how I would recommend doing this is you just do it Anytime you see fit and anytime it's available, it's just going to be a nice bonus $50,000 for really only about five minutes of your time, which isn't that bad at all. So that is the brand new addition to the bunker, the ammunition contract, basically allowing you to just earn additional income. Now, Rockstar also introduced two new resupply missions. So I don't know about you guys, but I would typically just buy my supplies. But with this, I wanted to see, okay, maybe we can get a fun, cool resupply mission. And I don't think the one I ended up getting was one of the new ones, but it basically just had us like ambush this convoy on the Zancudo River, and then we were able to get the supplies. So I think what this really does is more so if you're a player that likes to grind or you're a new player, you're going to find that a lot of these resupply missions might be new. So it's just like an interesting refresh on the same thing that we've been doing. And just like all the resupply missions, all you have to do is ambush the supplies and then bring them back to your bunker. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. That's what you have to do for the new resupply missions. But anyways, let's move on. Bunker owners can now also call Agent 14 to begin bunker research and request transportation, as well as check their current research levels. So this is actually kind of cool because Rockstar did introduce bunker research. That's a mission that is now available to acquire research for the bunker so you can make that go a little bit quicker. And this process was pretty straightforward and easy. So in order to start this, again, it's pretty obvious. You can see I'm calling Agent 14. You can request bunker research where you can also see your current research progress. Mine's at 2%. And you can also request transportation as well, like the Zion Classic or the Caddy. I've showcased that in another video and honestly how ridiculous that is. Driving around the bunker golf cart in free roam, it really does look ridiculous when you see other players having it. But as far as the bunker research goes, it was pretty straightforward. Basically what we do is we went on this random mission. We had to go to Mount Gordo and we essentially had to look for a lot of chaos going on because we were trying to search the area for a target. 
And basically, it was this armored juggernaut target. And we had to take him out, basically steal his technology or his research data, and then deliver that back to the bunker. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. The only difficult part is when this happens, or at least in this mission, there were a lot of cops. So it kind of made it slightly difficult to escape. But once you were able to escape, very easy. You just deliver it back to your bunker. And once you deliver it back to your bunker, it's going to say mission passed, research increased. And then it says you delivered the research data. So essentially what this does is it just bumps along your research progress bar, as you guys can see right there. And I think you can actually call Agent 14 as often as you want to collect in on those. So if you guys do have more stuff to research, which some people might have just a few items left, some people might have the whole bucket left, it does really speed things along. Now, on top of that, you need to keep in mind of all the amazing bonuses that Rockstar are giving out. So remember, for gun runners, research speeds are actually tripled for your first research items, and production speeds are also tripled. Again, those will return to normal after your first cell mission is completed. And remember that your first cell mission for each business listed will also reward double the usual money payouts. So my recommendation here is you wait until you have 100% full bunker stock and then you sell that puppy. You sell that puppy in an invite only session or if you want to risk it in a public session, you're going to get that increased high demand reward. So it is really risk versus reward, but just fill it all the way up and sell it. I don't care if it's in a private session, public session, you do whatever you want. And remember to grab your friends, bring them along as well, because all bodyguards, associates, and MCs, their salaries are doubled, and they will receive a part of the payout for taking part in the cell mission. So what I would recommend is you grab some friends that might not necessarily have their bunker or have their executive office yet, and you get them involved in something so they can get a lot of money and they can obviously help you out along the way. So that would be my recommendation, and while you're waiting on your bunker to boost back up, participate in the ammunition contract stuff. Do some research. Continue to do the resupply missions. They're fun, they're new, they're fresh, they're great for new and veteran players. But I'd obviously love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think about the new additions to the Gunrunner branch and the bunker business here in GTA Online. Did it get better for you? Did it somehow get worse? Let me know what you guys are thinking about in those comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.